All right, guys, before we get started, please uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Helps out the channel and we can keep the lights on and keep producing videos for you guys. And I hope you guys are staying safe. And here's your new video. So on today's video, I'm going to show you a couple of settings that you should change in Splash Top. And we're going to do a twofer. We're, I'm going to show you how, uh, if you're running into two different problems, one is the XPS viewer. If you keep getting that error message uh, saying the XPS viewer is not, viewer is not installed, or um, your printer uh, doesn't print uh, through your remote session I'm gonna show you how to fix that all right so I'm booting my laptop up it's my desktop that I'm going to remote control with splash top just gotta make sure we have internet first it's always important to check to make sure you have internet first but I don't think I connected to this uh, Wi-Fi yet so let me take care of that. Hold on a second. Actually, uh, we're gonna do this one. Connect. Put in my password. Okay. All right, so we're connected. That's the first thing you wanna make sure. Then if you have the app, you can just double click it and it'll log in automatically if you put in your username and password. Then you find your computer and double click it. Depending on if you have your credentials already saved, you can just hit login and there we go so you see how the screen went dark i'm going to show you where to set that and if you want the sound to play through close this if you want the sound just to play through your laptop or whatever you're using to um control that machine so let's see just grab anything and the sound should play out of the laptop protests have been breaking out in michigan okay. in response to governor gretchen whitmer's extended stay-at-home order to slow this okay but the sound doesn't come out of oh. the sound doesn't come out of your desktop so I'm gonna show you where you find those settings in Splash Top, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna close this out. Now, the settings that you're gonna change are on the host machine, not the one that um, you use to remote control it. So you're gonna go and click on the little Splash Top icon on the bottom right-hand corner, all right? You're going to go to settings and then you're going to go down and the first thing I like to do is make sure that my printers that my remote printer is installed oh. and then I go to security 
and I check the box that says enable blank screen. All right. And then go into, well, let's go back to settings. And we want under sound, go to sound and check the little radio button that says output sound over the remote connection only. That way the sound doesn't only plays through your laptop, if you're using a laptop, and it doesn't come out of your desktop. So again, the first setting you're gonna check is like I always have on their remote printer, I always click on install uh, remote printer. Mine says uninstall because I already did it. Then I go up to sound and I change the sound setting so that I only plays through my laptop. Go to security, click on enable blank screen. Now for the XPS error, this is how you're going to fix that. Click on the uh, type here to search and you're going to go to apps and you're going to go into apps and features and then you're going to go to optional features click on there all right i'm going to give that a minute and you're going to go to the bottom and check to make sure you have XPS uh, Viewer installed. If you don't have XPS Viewer installed, go all the way back up to the top, click on Add a Feature. Then you're gonna go to the bottom and you're gonna see XPS Viewer. Click on that and you're going to install that. All right, it's gonna take a few minutes to install. Um, and sometimes it looks like it's not doing anything. But if you go back, click on the back button, and you go to those settings, you'll see it's installing. And once it's installed, it'll be at the bottom and that'll fix that error message saying that XPS viewer can be uh, found or something like that. Um, then you're going to go into the host machine and you're going to click on the bottom right corner and look for your little splash top icon. You click on that. You're going to go to settings. You're going to go down to remote print and you're going to click on this little thing. If it says uninstall printer driver, um, then you already have it installed, so you don't have to do this step, okay? But that should fix your printer problems. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. If you guys have any uh, questions or comments, just leave them below, and I try to reply to some of them. So have a good day. Take care. Bye.